It's hard to define what makes an individual a true hero. Many people connect heroes to people who have gone above and beyond and who are idolized for their courage. But even the simplest people can conduct acts of heroism. The people who least expect to be put into a position of a heroic behavior can quickly become our strongest luminary. And that is exactly where Lance Sajon's story began. He was always expected to do great things, not only because he was intelligent, but he was humble. Lance was someone who grew from his normal struggles of a daily boyhood into something even greater. And this played a major part in molding him into a true American patriot. He was a 220-pound football player at the Air Force Academy. He was a passionate artist, a boy scout, a pilot, a leader, a son, and a brother. Considering Lance Sijon only as a hero would be an understatement. His individuality built him into someone whose story lived on to inspire thousands. His acts of heroism did not stop on the borderline of war. They truly had no boundaries. He willingly put himself at risk by resisting interrogators and enduring days and days of torture in protection of his comrades, his family, and his country. But his acts of kindness and love never stopped. He was a hero, a brother, a son, and an American. When it comes to Lance and his story, there's never going to be a complete way to perfectly explain what kind of person Lance Sijon was, because he wasn't someone you could describe in a few words. He is someone who takes a lifetime of explaining. People want to make him a jock and an angry, and he wasn't. So it's sort of, and you can use this, it's sort of the poet warrior. He was, uh, he was very artistic but he had this warrior heart and soul. Lance Sajon, earning the Medal of Honor, was equitable due to him being the embodiment of an American patriot. He was faced with the internal conflict of giving information in return for freedom and the external conflict of the Vietnam War. His compromise was giving his own life on behalf of his country. Many people identify his story as one of war, but Lance never seemed to match the brooding soldier facade people had placed on him. Instead of being fueled by hate, he was fueled by the love and his belief of freedom, family, faith, and his country. To do such grand actions for his country and showing his heroism above and beyond the call of duty complements the persona he proudly displayed. Born on April 13, 1942, Lance Sijon became the hero he was in his last days by creating a masterpiece out of what little time he had. During his high school years, he attended Bayview, located in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. This is where he quickly became top of his class and became a star football player who never gave up. Though he was perceived as a gallant jock, many failed to recognize what was just beyond the surface. Yes, Lance was an athlete, but he also had a passion for the arts. Even though Lance never before participated in choir or school performances, he didn't miss the chance to take on the lead role in the school musical, The King and I. He even took it upon himself to include his little sister by having her audition for his princess. Even when Lance was unsure of the situation, he jumped at the opportunity to build himself into a better person, experiment with new opportunities. He was always ready to step out of his comfort zone and take a challenge head on. He had this unimaginable passion to fight for what was right, not only for him, but everyone who was a part of his country. Lance's heart was filled with motivation and determination to be the person who'd always put his best foot forward and lend a helping hand. This is one of the many reasons for Lance choosing to attend the Air Force Academy. An ultimate would be to be accepted into a military academy. That would be pretty much cream of the crop. And so he was always going for that really 
challenging position. He volunteered to go to Vietnam. And, and it's, I think it's that calling again. At the time that Lance went in, there was no Vietnam, there was no war, there was no thought of maybe he's gonna go to war. There was just thought maybe he'll maybe he'll be in the in a position of an officer at a base and you know all of a sudden when he's in the war starts escalating and now we know the family knows he's probably going to have to go over there. Lance's story didn't only help shape himself but others as well. He lived life to the fullest, never living uh, through a day of hate, only exploring deeper into the humanities and relying on his hopes of the future. But suddenly, everything came to a violent halt. On November 9th, 1967, Lance Saijon was ejected from his Phantom F-4 fighter jet over Laos, Vietnam, due to an ordnance explosion. From the crash landing, he obtained a shattered hand which was cracked in half, and a leg that had double compound fractures, and a bone which was snapped off sharp. Using what materials he had, he was able to create a support for his leg and was able to bend back his fingers and tie them using what once had been the Searman's flight suit. Due to his injuries and inability to stand, he roughly dragged himself over limestone and tree roots, not caring that his flesh had rubbed off or the constant pain he was enduring. He didn't stop until he reached an open area where he was later found by a rescue mission. However, he waved it off. Not wanting anyone else to be harmed in the process of saving him. This, of itself, is an important connection to the kind of individual he was. Even when facing death, thoughts of others is held above everything else. He spent 46 days and nights alone, with no food, no support, and the entire time knowing he will never make it home. He was a skeleton of a man who only had skin, bone, and muscle. Even though his wounds were apparent and he had no supplies, he avoided being captured for six weeks. On Christmas Day of year 1967, barely breathing, barely keeping hold of sanity, barely alive, Lance Saijon was found and captured by the Viet Cong and was taken to an interrogation camp. After days of being in the camp and weeks of being in the Laos jungle, his body was unrecognizable. He was 80 pounds and on the verge of death. Emaciated, wounded, barely having the energy to breathe, he overpowered his captors and escaped. However, due to his crucial wounds, he was recaptured and taken back to the camp. He was tortured endlessly. However, he resisted his interrogators until his days slowly came to an end. His loyalty to his fellow airmen, to his family, and to his country kept him alive. Lance Saijon received the Medal of Honor for his evadence of capture, his heroism, which he showed above and beyond the call of duty, and living the code of conduct to his last days. For everything he had went through to protect and stand beside his country, this Medal of Honor was just another color added to the painting of his heroism. What people fail to recognize is that Lance Saijon chose to be stationed in North Vietnam. He put his own life on the line because of his dedication to his country, he knew he was needed. However, throughout being a prisoner of war, he never gave the enemy any information due to his conviction to the code of conduct. Lance Saijan will forever be known. His name has been placed on the Wisconsin Aviation Hall of Fame, and now his fellow airmen are able to receive an award created to show their bravery and actions that were based off of him. Saijan Field and Saijan Hall were dedicated to him on behalf of his service to his country and Bayview High School proudly sports his name. In addition, the Lance Saijon Memorial, located on South Howell Avenue in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, will forever broadcast his patriotism.